Hi there, this is Evan here from latinum.org.uk and in this video I'm going to talk to you about a Latin study method written by Thomas Prendergast which is a translation method where you translate into Latin but it has no grammar. Known as the entire textbook from beginning to end contains no technical grammar whatsoever yet by the end of it Prendergast assures us we will know Latin and he said you'll know Latin far far better than anyone learning with any other method. It's called the mastery method and it works as follows. A series of sentences has been constructed by Prendergast and Latin grammarians working with him. There are some 800 of these and they contain the entire Latin syntax and all of Latin grammar. They're quite complex sentences. Each sentence is then broken down using a serial and oral method and the student is then tested on each section. As we go through, the vocabulary is very limited because Prendergast wants your mental effort to be focused on learning grammar. But you don't learn the grammar from rules. As Prendergast says, grammar comes from language. Language does not come from grammar. In other words, the direction has to be the other way. And he says, well, when you get to the end of his course, then it's time to crack open those grammar books and start to read them assiduously. Lots of them. Technical, formal, descriptive grammars. But don't learn your Latin from the grammar. He said you need to learn the way a child learns or the way you learn when you go to a foreign country. You hear the stuff around you. Except, he said, he's made life easier by causing everything to be structured. So you're learning like a child, but in a structured way. So I'm going to give you an example here. We are on exercise 112, so we're quite far into the book. But it, it really makes no difference um, because even at the very beginning, the sentences are complicated. So we are aiming at this sentence. We are aiming at this. Non è flagellandus erit, si quis in quem gladium iactavarit et paulum vulnerawarit. So it's a complicated sentence. Right? If any person has thrown a sword at anyone and wounded him slightly, will he not have to be whipped? Right? This is typical type of Roman stuff, right? Swords flying around and people being whipped for chopping people's heads off and slaves running away. And all these kinds of things are found in Prendergast. So culturally speaking, we are thrown into the ancient Roman world. It's not the friendliest place. Ah, so let's have a look at our deconstructed sentences. Now, these are deconstructed by me. Pendergast doesn't do the deconstruction. So the book, his textbook, is intended for the teacher. It's pretty much useless. If you're a student and you're looking at Prendergast's book, you can't really use it. Uh, and it's an oral course. If he, he, In his description, he says that the student shouldn't actually look at any printed Latin while they're doing it. They should listen and then translate orally. Um, and try and, of course, imitate the pronunciation of the teacher while they're doing it. So, the first part of this serial and oral deconstruction, because that's what it is, it's a serial and oral method, aiming at this final long sentence, is this. He will have to be whipped. So I'll say that, he will have to be whipped, and then I'll ring a bell. Right? It's actually a crystal glass that I'm tapping not a bell. So he will have to be whipped. And then you have a certain amount of time to give the translation. I don't give you very long, basically enough time to translate it, um, assuming that you can do it really fast. If you need more time, you need to be pressing your pause button while you're still going through this, especially the first time you go through, you will need to do that if you don't know the vocabulary. So he will have to be whipped. Flagellandus edit. Will he not have to be whipped? So our second sentence has introduced one more unit, nonne. So nonne flagellandus edit. Our next example. Will he not have to be whipped if he has thrown? And I'll ring the bell. Give you a little bit of time. And then this is the answer. Nonne flagellandus edit si yaktawarit. Now, sometimes as we go through, our deconstructed sentence fragments are not perfectly formed. 
it's grammatical, but there's no context. But it doesn't matter because we're heading to the final sentence, right? The next one, will he not have to be whipped if he has thrown a sword? So we've introduced sword here, right? Non è flagellandus erit, si gladium iactavarit. And then we go on. Will he not have to be whipped if he has thrown a sword and injured? So we've added the concept here at the section and injured. So non è flagellandus erit, si gladium iactavarit et vulnerawarit. Our next if any person has thrown a sword and injured, will he not have to be whipped? So, nonne, we've had that before, flagellandus erit, we've had that before. Si quis, that's our new bit. Gladium yactavarit et vulnerabarit. So, if any person, si quis. Non e flagellandus erit si quis gladium yactavarit et vulnerabarit. Our next section. If any person has thrown a sword at anyone and injured, will he not have to be whipped? Non e flagellandus erit si quis in quem. This is the new section. In quem. Gladium yactavarit et vulnerabarit. So, thrown a sword at anyone. In quem. And then our final sentence, the one that we're aiming at. Nonne flagellandus erit si quis in quem gladium yactavarit et paulum vulnerabarit. So I introduced the word paulum there. We've had this before. If you've been studying this, uh, we're now on 112. So the word, all these words pretty much have come up before, but not in this configuration. So this is how Prendergast works. And there are around 800 of these uh, master sentences. And then if you include all of the sub sentences in the serial and oral breakdown, well, you're heading close to, mm, I don't know, um, you know, a, a large number, put it that way. And then at the very end of the book, there is something he calls couplets where you have two sentences that are parallel and you can switch sections between them and create permutations, generating several thousand sentences uh, for practicing further. But the core work is in these 800 odd sentences in the core text. And this is how Prendergast's oral Latin mastery works. There is no grammar. You do not learn any declensions. You do not learn any conjugations. You do not learn anything technical at all. There's no technical grammar. So the only impediment to this being used is that sometimes the vocabulary is a bit tricky uh, and your memory. But all language learning is an exercise in memory. The question is, what should you be memorizing in the beginning? And as Prendergast says, if you start to learn lots and lots of grammar rules, it's actually going to in get in the way of your language learning. Uh, that's not how our brains learn languages. Yes, after you know everything, after you've learned, after you've exposed yourself and you are familiar, you have an armory, because this is what this does. He builds up an armory of forms. Uh, you will be able to engage with Latin texts and Latin texts are complicated. So there's no point, as Prendergast says, giving simple sentences at the beginning, like a lot of Latin books do. It's absolute waste of time. I mean, students that, uh, for example, learn using Orberg, uh, Lingua Latina per se illustrada, they confront this problem because the book has all this nice, easy Latin. Uh, finally, they open up, they crack open a, a Roman text and they're stumped because they've been fed this uh, series of, of, of uh, Latin works where the Latin is not complex enough. Prendergast doesn't do that. He takes no prisoners. And right from the very, very first lesson, you have complex Latin structures with subordinate clauses and so on. Um, and it's not easy. At the beginning, it's difficult. And uh, he says it will be difficult. But believe you me, it's a lot easier than memorizing loads and loads of abstract grammar and then hoping vainly hoping that that will then help you produce any Latin, because it won't. Uh, 
one reason why Latin teachers love all this stuff, this formal grammar, declensions, and that, is it's untestable. You can give it marks out of 10 very easily. Uh, whereas a system like this, well, how do you mark it? How do you, I suppose you could. And also it's extremely time intensive. So no Latin classroom can do what Pentecost requires, which is as follows. One hour a day split into three 20 minute sections of which not more than 10 minutes should be devoted to new material and the rest of it revising what you did before. So it's extremely important, he says, that you do not move on until you can translate extremely rapidly. So if you can't translate without hesitation in the small amount of time I give you when I ring that bell, then you don't move on to the next one. You stay on it until you can command it. This is why he calls it Latin mastery. And he says, if you do try move forward before you have mastered an earlier session, you're not going to do yourself any favors and the method won't work. So Latin mastery was first written for uh, German. It's got French version. Um, there's a Hebrew version as well, interestingly enough. And some way or other, there exists a version in Japanese, but I don't know where it is. Certainly, this could be produced for other languages. One could produce an example, uh, one could produce one of these, say, for Aramaic or something like that. And you could either create texts like the ones that uh, Prendergast has done, or you can take an existing text and deconstruct the sentences. Um, and in fact, I'm doing that. Um, with uh, Caesar. I'm creating a, a, a course that matches Prendergast's method, but using Caesar's text, and it's, I'm calling it uh, Learn to Speak Latin like Caesar. But the, that, of course, doesn't protect the vocabulary in the same way that Prendergast is limiting the vocabulary here. So here we have a very small vocabulary so that your mental effort is devoted to the syntax, because that is by far the most difficult thing about Latin. And I highly encourage you to have a look. The first few lessons are available for free at latinum.org.uk. If you go to the beginner section on the website, click Pendergast, you'll see that there are a number of free sample lessons for you to try out. Um, and if you find that it works for you, then why not subscribe and uh, get on with the rest of the course. Bye.